Hello there invaders and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Invader. In this video I will be ranking the top 10 Jedi in canon only. I will still be doing expanded universe edition but today I'm sticking to just canon. So to start off at number 10 is Ki Adi Mundi. Ki Adi Mundi was a highly honoured Jedi general throughout the Clone Wars. The Jedi Master was the genuine article. His dual brain permitted him to examine both sections of a battle concurrently, making him a valuable tactician for the Republic in the fight opposed to the Separatists and the Sith. Master Ki Adi Mundi's ability with the Force and his lightsaber was legendary on the battlefield, abilities that earned him reputation amongst the Jedi as one of the greatest, potent Jedi of the Republic. Sadly, even so, Key's strategic brain could not prepare him for Order 66, and he died, commanding the clone troopers on Maigito. At number 9 is Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto's a unique Jedi that is more comfortable in the water than on the surface. Master Fisto can be defined as the strongest Jedi to ever battle underwater. The Nalutlan Jedi combatant initially achieved notoriety in the Clone Wars series prior to getting an increased significant live action function in the third film. That includes being part of the group of Jedi that went with Mace Windu to seize the Dark Lord Palpatine. Regrettably for the Master, even his talents weren't sufficient to halt Darth Sidious, as the Dark Lord effortlessly discarded the whole party of experienced Jedi warriors. Next up is number 8. At number 8 is Qui-Gon Jinn. This popular Jedi Master did not receive the screen time that he merited. The one error in his distinguished occupation was bringing about Anakin to join the Jedi, and he did not survive to find out the effects of his acts. However, Qui-Gon is deemed among the greatest Jedi owing to his command across the secrecies of the Force. He's the individual that refined the Force Force skill, permitting him to visibly appear amongst the living following his perish. 7 is Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano was Anakin Skywalker's apprentice during the Clone Wars. For a period of time during the conflict, Ahsoka became the commander of the 501st Legion of the Army of the Republic. Like Anakin, she was well known for being uncompromising, defiant and not entirely in accord with the teachings and demands of the Jedi Council. During the ascension of the Empire, Ahsoka assumed the name Ashla, escaping from world to world, attempting to evade the Galactic Empire's oppression. Utilising the code identity, she organises the rebels whilst at work in secret to form a movement to the opposition of the Empire and in preference for the creation of the modern Republic. Sokotano is hunted by her previous master, these days a Sith Lord. Darth Vader, once her friend Anakin Skywalker. In her later life, An Ahsoka Tano endured a vigilante force user wandering the galaxy, aiding individuals and developing what she believes the Jedi ought to be on a personal foundation, away from the politics the Jedi Council used to meddle in. Rey is at number six. Rey has a powerful link with the force. Even bearing in mind that she's an experienced and receiving just a small amount of minor lessons from the self-exiled Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, and a little with Leia before they both passed. Though Rey is force sensitive, she's not sure of the complete scope of her abilities. Even though Rey is a fairly new person in Star Wars, she's accomplished numerous remarkable achievements. She's Additionally, the only woman whose expedition to develop into a Jedi has been crucial to a trilogy of films. At number 5 is Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One. The father of the Skywalker family tree has a mesmerizing connection to the Force, a relationship that transformed him not just into a mighty Jedi, but likewise a frighteningly powerful Darth Lord. Although Anakin did not become Jedi Master, he was however recognised as one of the strongest Jedi to ever take a seat at the Council. That merely made his turn to the dark side that extra bit demoralising for the rest of the Jedi. 
Anakin managed to compensate for some of the wrongdoings in his final minutes, seemingly terminating the existence of Darth Sidious and able to become a force ghost joining Anakin's old acquaintance Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi is at rank 4. Obi-Wan is a hero of the Clone Wars and one of the earliest Jedi to come to be a force ghost. He is smart and strategic and even gained the nickname the Negotiator for his high level skills as a negotiator, especially during the Clone Wars. At a young age, Obi-Wan as Qui-Gon Jinn's Padawan shown a high level of proficiency with the lightsaber, defeating the deadly Sith apprentice Darth Maul in combat. Though his wits and composed manner were unquestionably Obi-Wan's greatest qualities, Kenobi was frequently realised as the voice of rationalism in moments of necessity. Position 3 is Mace Windu. Mace Windu is one of the truly crucial personalities in the prequels. Mace's understanding of the Force is substantial, and his status as the finest lightsaber duelist on the Jedi Council is the primary reason why he's placed on the list. He defeated Palpatine when even Master Yoda could not. The only fault is Mace's means of reasoning. Windu exemplifies a few of the extremely undesirable characteristics of the Jedi in the final period of the Republic. Mace's excessive pride and confidence captures the view that a lot of individuals of the galaxy considered the Jedi to be similar to, which is ironic given the invariable arrogance was going to save the universe from the Dark Lord Sidious if Windu was able to take the final blow on Palpatine, prior to being launched out the window thousands of feet mid-air. Second place is Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is the most renowned representative of the Skywalker name. Prior to The Last Jedi, Luke was the personification of the Jedi ideology. The Last Jedi spoiled the hero's legacy for long-running followers of Star Wars, while now defunct after Disney acquired Lucasfilm and George Lucas, the extended universe novels shaped Luke into an inspirational master that created a new modest and less narrow-minded Jedi Order Institute that was highly knowledgeable of the Force, secrets, and very powerful Jedi of history. Rather than the last Jedi making Luke to be broken, bitter husk of the original Luke, even to the fact that Luke tried killing his nephew Ben Solo, as he possessed a potential of going to the dark side. A far cry from the man that did not give up on his father Darth Vader even when all the evil atrocities he had continuously done over his lifetime. Luke had shown a glimpse of his supreme power through he defeated Darth Vader in combat and force projected himself through space to help the resistance escape the surrounded stormtroopers outside the base. Luke is possibly the most treasured character in the whole series. Taking the top spot is Yoda. Master Yoda may well be the image of the Jedi Order for a whole era of Star Wars supporters. Celebrated as one of the utmost knowledgeable Jedi to ever bless the Jedi Council. The Grand Master was an accomplished fighter that can stand his ground alongside any Sith. Yoda is possibly the only known Jedi in canon to manage to die peacefully. Following a lengthy lifestyle of training several of the highly distinguished Jedi that ever existed. With his combination of immense force powers, master lightsaber combatant, wisdom and unfaltering light side affiliation, Yoda is the only fully rounded master of all aspects of the Jedi. Which is why I see him as a definitive choice for the title Strongest Jedi, in the entire catalogue of the canon Star Wars characters. The choice between doing Luke and Yoda was a close contest. Pre-Last Jedi, I would have probably chosen Luke in the top spot, but taking into consideration the recent films with Luke giving in to the dark side, his character being dented and the loss of his unwavering light side, it was an obvious choice in the end, placing Yoda at the top. So all the glory goes to Yoda. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below your top 10 list of canon Jedis, or if you agree with my list, just let me know. Like and subscribe, until the next time, on Star Wars Invader.